One of one of the things I wanted to ask you about was um, I've always liked the way your drums sounded, and I just wondered if you had uh, you know any advice for people as far as tuning drums and you know getting getting the best sound out of a set of drums. Well, tuning the drums is I think a matter of per personal choice. Mm -hmm. What I what I've done is just discovered the, like the right in the sound that I wanted, plus uh, the the right feel that I wanted because like. Uh, you can tune them too. Uh, some people like them tuned tight because it feels real tight. But I've just discovered where it feels right, and I found that if you if you tension your drums to where they actually feel comfortable for you to you, the sound will be right. The sound sort of goes along with it. So you what you've just just a recent thing that you just come you've discovered? No, it's it's been years of experimentation. You know, like. Tighten them up, busting heads, and doing this. I've just gotten to the point where I can just about hear what it is I want to hear out of them, and and what I, how I want them to feel. And when I get that particular point, I, you know, it, it's like a feel to me. I can feel it, and it just they sound right. Did you have? Did you used to switch tunings if you were doing, let's say, like a mainstream jazz gig as opposed to more of a rhythm and blues type of a of a gig? No, I never did that. I always. Tune the drums the way I like for them to sound. No matter what I played, they should they would sound correct. Okay, and how, as far as like the, the the drum set you have, is, is that kind of uh, you still got the same set you were using maybe 20 years ago? Or now I got the same set I've been using for about the last 15, like, yeah, last 15, 20 years. Some Rogers drums. Is that right? Yeah. Was it four piece? Uh... You're right, four piece bebop kind of set, 24 inch, no, 22 inch bass drum. Uh, regular size tom. I got an 18 inch floor tom tom. Wow. Because I like the, the, the big sound in it. And regular size snare drum. Mm hmm. And wood, wood snare drum? Uh, what is it? I've forgotten the, the dimension. Six and a half by 14, something like that? No. Five, five and a half. half. Five yeah. and a half by 14, yeah. Yeah. The chrome, is metal chrome, drum? Yeah, chrome. Okay. All right. And did you ever have, like, did, did you go from using, like, calf heads to maybe another, you know, head preference? I like Remo heads. I like uh, the, the old style head where you can get some brushwork on them. You know, the, the coated head. Yeah. I mean, the, the dots and all that are pretty good for rock and maybe other things where you don't hardly ever use brushes. Yeah. But in what I'm doing, sometimes I have to use brushes. Mm -hmm. And I need a head with a coat on it. Mm -hmm. I tried fiber skin, but they seem to, like, muffle the complete sound of the drum. Really? Yeah, to me. I hate fiber skin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How about, like, like symbols? Are you fussy about what kind of symbols you use? Right. I like Zildjian symbols. I love Zildjian symbols. My friend of mine just went to Switzerland, and he came back with a whole bunch of pasty symbols that they gave him. Yeah. You know? Great, I told him. Great, great, great. Fantastic. But I love Zildjian symbols. I don't know if the Zildjian people will read this article, but if they do... Tell somebody to send me something, because I need some more Zildjian symbols. I like K's and I like A's. Right. You know, I do not like, you can put me down and quote, I do not like pasty symbols. <laughs> so the pasty symbols need never, people need never contact me, because I don't want none, because they don't sound like symbols to me. You know, they sound like a, a cheap imitation of a Zildjian symbol. So I'm an avid Zildjian fan, forever, till death. Have you still got the same, this 15, 20 year old symbols? No, no, I got some new. I got a K and a 20, 22 inch K, and I got a 20 inch uh, Crash Ride A. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And sometimes I borrow symbols from other other friends of mine and, and had, I have other parts of my setup. But basically, my setup is two symbols, you know, and they give me what I want. Like the K gives me soft and dark, you know, for the bebop and swing, and the A gives me bright and loud for whenever I want to. Mm-hmm. Right. How about the hi-hats? Oh, A Zildjians, of course. Four fourteens? Uh, two thirteens. Thirteens? Right. Cut a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. Some old ones. Yeah? Yeah. They sound good. Man. I got sort of like a custom set. I got a little piece from here and a little piece from there. 